Ever wondered if Captain Morgan was a real pirate or just a rum mascot? Let's uncover the truth about Sir Henry Morgan. Born in 1635 in Wales, Henry Morgan's journey to the Caribbean is a mystery. Some say he was kidnapped and sent to Barbados as an indentured servant, while others believe he joined Cromwell's army and sailed to the Caribbean. In 1655, Morgan arrived in Jamaica with Cromwell's forces, participating in its capture from the Spanish. Despite the island's harsh conditions, Morgan thrived. By 1662, he commanded his first ship raiding Spanish territories under the British flag as a privateer, a legal pirate sanctioned by the government. Morgan's exploits against the Spanish were legendary. In 1666, he captured Puerto Bello in Panama, ransoming the town and repelling Spanish forces. His most daring raid came in 1671 when he attacked Panama City, one of the wealthiest cities in Spanish America. Despite the city's defenses, Morgan's forces prevailed, though the treasure had already been moved. This raid, however, violated a peace treaty between England and Spain. Morgan was arrested and taken to London. But the tides turned in his favor when King Charles II knighted him in 1674 and sent him back to Jamaica as lieutenant governor. In Jamaica, Morgan was a powerful figure, managing his sugar plantations and maintaining order in Port Royal, a notorious pirate haven. He died in 1688, leaving behind a legacy of adventure and wealth. At the time of his death, he was a very wealthy man indeed, with large sugar plantations and 109 slaves. Captain Morgan's fame lives on, not just on rum bottles, but in the annals of history. He was a pirate, a privateer, and a politician, embodying the wild spirit of the Caribbean. Have any thoughts on this pirate legend? Share in the comments! For more incredible historical tales, follow and like this video. Got a topic in mind? Drop your suggestions below. Thanks for watching.